readers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan and today I'm going to be showing off some books that I have recently purchased. I have had Throne of Glass on my TBR for mm, about two to three years now and I actually purchased the box set of hardcover books a year ago and about a few months ago I ordered the special dust jackets from Nerdy Ink and I absolutely love them. I saw them, they were beautiful, and I wanted them, and I have them on my books. You can kind of see them right here. And I, but I also wanted to have the original dust jackets showing, and I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I was going to do something with the dust jackets to make them, you know, stand on my bookshelves near the books or next to them or something, and I, was doing some research on it about a year ago and I, I found out that Throne of Glass actually did something amazing. throne of glass or whoever decided to do it they are a genius and they need to be paid way more now if they can just take the idea and apply it to every single book ever published that would just be golden okay they came up with mini books the smaller version of the actual book it is not just like a notebook it's not for decoration i mean it's mostly for decoration let's not be lying let's not lie about it the pages are extremely thin it's the only way I can accurately describe it to you is it's they're like Bible pages they are so thin that you could rip them if you're not careful and um, they it is very small they have changed the font and it is the actual first it is the actual book just printed in a mini version now let me tell you ever since I found out that these existed I have been like, oh my God, why are all books not mini? That would save so much room on my bookshelves and I would save so much money because I'd be buying smaller books. Or even if you charge the same regular price, I'd be fine with that because they're smaller and they take up less space on my bookshelves and they're easier to travel with and I absolutely love them and I need a mini version of all my books. And I have seen some mini versions of other books, but they're like sideways and you like flip it open like that to read it. And I just think that's weird. I'm like, okay, well, let's not do that. Let's just make a normal book, just mini, you know, and it's okay. And the only thing that sucked about these is that they don't come as a set. I had to order them individually from Amazon. Now I did order them new. I did not order any of them used because honestly it would have cost about the same. I take this one for example, I think this cost $7.50 and it had no shipping cost. But um, if you were to buy a used one, the used one costs like $3 and some change plus almost three or $4 for shipping and handling. And you know, if I'm gonna pay seven to eight bucks for a book, I might as well just get it brand new and know for a fact that it's never been written in or highlighted or destroyed or it's not missing something that I won't know until I go through it. And if I decide to read, when I do get to reading, I'm probably going to read the big book, not the mini book. I bought these strictly for decoration purposes, which really made my husband mad because I spent like $75 on all of these books. And I bought these strictly for decoration purposes and I'm probably not going to read them so if it was missing a page I would never know. But I do love these and I did want to show them off absolutely gone insane for these and these I will have a bunch of pictures and videos that I took with the books themselves. Um, these are the special editions they are called the Miniature Throne of Glass Character Collection. Now each book and obviously there are eight books 
has a different character's name written in a specific color. Now, it's per book. So this book, Assassin's Blade, celebrates Sam with a special miniature edition featuring his name highlighted with Avery River Teal ink. I'm going to interject right here because I took way too long going over this part and I re-recorded it a bunch of times and it still took up most of the time that I am allotted. So I'm going to try to do this very quickly, but also not, not too quickly, if that makes any sense. So um, on the back of the book, it has a quote and it tells you whose character's name is going to be in a special colored ink. So the first book, which is Assassin's Blade, that is Sam's book, so his name is going to be in teal ink. Every time his name is written in the book, it is in teal. And it is the same for all the other books, but each book has a different character's name. So I did look up how to pronounce their names, so hopefully I pronounce them correctly while I'm doing this and forgive me for that. But the quote on the back of Assassin's Blade says, my name is Sam Cortland and I will not be afraid. And on the back of Throne of Glass, which features Selena's uh, name in violet ink, says, we all bear scars. Mine just happened to be more visible than most. And on the back of Crown of Midnight, which is Dorian's in crimson ink, says, I've gotten lucky so far, but I don't think that luck will last. And on the back of Air of Fire, which is Rowan's book in green ink, you do not apologize for defending the people you care about. And on the back of Queen of Shadows, it is Manon's book in red ink, and it says, do you believe monsters are born or made? I'm going to answer that question. Both. Some are born, some are made. I honestly believe that. And Empire Storms. This is Lysandra's book in Osher ink, which is basically a fancy word or name for orange. Like the words here, it's in orange. You say the word general and I'll transform into the face of their nightmares. Not gonna lie, I have not read any of these books and I already love her. She's like one of my favorites so far. Like I love that quote. She sounds like a badass. Uh, Tower of Dawn, which is incidentally one of the only books that does not have the girl on the cover, which is fine. This is, uh, let me listen to that name pronunciation again. I think it's something weird. Of course I was correct. It is a little weird. It's Kale. And it looks like it says Chal, but it's pronounced Kale. So... Let's go with that. His name is in blue ink, and the quote for him is, maybe you and I will have to learn how to live if we survive this war. Ooh, you got some stuff going on there, don't you? All right, and this is Aelin's book in gold ink, and her quote is, you do not yield. I absolutely love that. I'm over the moon and I'm going to flash these by again because I think I'm going to cut this part out of the other one that I recorded as well of the differences on the front and the back cover. I am sure they are similar to the original dust jackets that I have replaced and on the front it has the one picture and on the back it has something else. I might actually have to just turn off my ring light for this. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, so you see the front and then the back and obviously still very beautiful. Just, I just happened to notice that the um, picture on the back is a similar pose to the one on the front, but there's always a different outfit. Um, like, I mean, I could not pull off looking like a badass with two big ass swords in a ball gown like that. Like, I wish I was that cool. And that is why I read, because uh, for a little bit, I can pretend I am that cool. And, you know, I can pretend that I know how to shoot a bow and arrow, which I actually did. I took archery class in high school, and I was very good with the bows, um, the actual bows, not the compound bows with all those gears and pulley things. I couldn't pull that back, but it was an actual bow, and I'm four foot eight, so it was almost as tall as me, or if not, it was a little bit taller. It was really big, and I was really good at shooting that, and I never missed but again, I graduated high school almost nine years ago. So that was that was a long time ago. That was about 10 or 11 years ago because I took um, 
archery, I think my sophomore or junior year of high school, and I graduated in 2012. So I am old, according to, you know, all these young people out here sitting there saying, you know, oh, to the older generation out there, you know, people born in the late 90s. I'm not old. I'm 26. And I was born in the early 90s. So don't call me old anymore. I'm offended. So I'm going to let that go. Anyway, I just wanted to do that uh, part real quick because it was uh, it, the part that I recorded before was too long. And another thing I did want to note is that to match the color of the uh, cover, they the spine on the inside is also colored uh, towards the book and the color of the person's name. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I will get back to the regularly scheduled portion of my video these I am super excited to get to reading these so hopefully we I get to those soon I want to read those this year hopefully I can read those over the summer or whatever so we will see but I'm gonna wrap this video up I'm probably gonna have to cut a lot of stuff out or even refilm this to figure out how to make it shorter because I have a lot of pictures and videos that I want you to see so I will catch you guys next time bye